Cavs Warriors play Monday. Yep. You have been at times critical of Golden State. Yep. And why would that be, first of all? I think the – so off the court, on the court. Off the court, I just think they're not that likable. Okay. I think they are an overwhelmingly arrogant team that pretends that that then acts demure, like, oh, not us. Like, they they get upset that Clay the other day said uh, – uh, didn't like some of the antics with the Cavs, pretending that – his teammate Steph Curry hadn't said last year their locker room still st- smells like champagne. So, like, I, I think Draymond's a fake tough guy. I think he's a dirty player. But on the court, more importantly, I think they what they did this offseason made them the perfect team to beat 90% of the teams in the league and made it much less likely that they win the title and that they beat great teams. Colin, they're 34 and 6. They're 34 and 3 against everyone except for the three other best teams. They're 0 and 3 against them. You want to include the last three of the finals, 0-6 in their last six against the best teams in basketball, 34-3 and against everybody else. They got better at what they were great at. Yep. And they are less of what they weren't great at. They're less physical, and they're not as deep. Well, and they absolutely right. They made it to where they can sleepwalk through games like they did last night against Detroit and still cover and win by 20. Last night against Detroit, they weren't that engaged. It was close at half, but you – at every point of the game, they had the three best players on the court, so right. they're going to win. I watched some of that. But yeah. how does that translate come the NBA Finals? And here is an underrated story of this NBA season. Andre Iguodala might be the least productive player in the league. No one in the league plays as many minutes as Andre and scores fewer points. Nobody in the league. He has scored double-digit points once in the last month, and that was 11. People are going to say, ah, he's not there for his scoring. Fine. He's 33 years old. He has, there's only 13 players in the league that have played more career minutes. He's there for his defense late in the season. His body's broken and wearing down. I say that to say this. You got rid of your rim protection to stop LeBron. And now Andre Iguodala, who could slow down LeBron, is almost unplayable. So we're now relying on Kevin Durant who's never been able to stop LeBron a day in his life to slow him down, that's that's curious to me. No, I think Cleveland's going to win the championship. And I'll tell you another thing. I, I said it at the time. Golden State reminds me a little bit of Oregon and Chip Kelly. Because of the offense they had, they could just mail in games against Oregon State, Washington State, right? Yep. But it still never solved beating Auburn, LSU, or, or like Stanford, is that though they got fast, Chip made them faster, play every 17, 16, 15. Four. They got down to a play every 13 seconds. So they would beat the bad teams worse, but it never solved the issue of at the point of attack, we can't beat Ohio State and LSU because they have NFL defensive linemen. So Oregon, like Golden State, was more dominant against the crud, but still never solved their dilemma. Well, and then lastly, one thing to watch, who leads the team in shot attempts? It's Clay Thompson. I know Clay's a great player. It's never a good thing when your third best player takes the most shots. No, you can, no one can convince me it's the best idea for that team for the third best player to take the most shots.